Hello, anybody. I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is the Yog, and I'm joined once again by uh, by Malls. Uh, why don't you say hello? I was just about to, and you interrupted me. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I'm a really good interrupter. That's why I do uh, YouTube things. You're a really good interrupter. <laughs> of, of I, don't, I don't even know what that this. means. <laughs> Ah, okay, good. <laughs> Who do you want to be today? Uh, I want to be... I get the feeling I should go with the orange guy. You want to do orange guy again? Should I do orange guy or the red girl? I don't know, up to you. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, kitchen. Red lady. Red lady, alright. I think I'll be blue lady again. Okay, this time we have to get a good ending. I think we can do it. We did it one time. Off we did camera. it, but we weren't recording. I know. You're dumb. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay. Do you want to read this? You... Oh, I was gonna. <laughs> okay. oh, my... oh my god, no! Read it. No, <laughs> no, you. No, you. Read it. you read it. No, seriously, you read it. Rob, read it. <laughs> the Yog will be here in six weeks, <laughs> and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We ca we just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. All right, I'm Blue Lady. So I learned, someone in the comments said that Blue Lady always goes first, so that's why I'm always first. So, um, I don't know, what do I want to be this time? You know what? I'm going to go to the garden, and I'm going to meditate. And I speak, spend the week in deep meditation. I gain one magic to mind. Walking past the pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, oh. miss, the frog begs. <laughs> I am not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. If you could see your way into kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. You only uh, have six magic. I don't think you're going to be able to transform that frog. I know. Oh, I could catch him. Uh, I have... Oh, I don't have seven mind already. Oh, I guess from the meditation. You only have five finesse. You're, only, you're not going to be able to catch that frog. You might as well just kiss it. No, I don't want lip words. I'm going to catch him. You realize that a talking frog is worth a fortune and quickly grab for it. You aren't quick enough to catch the frog. It leaps out of your grasp you. and swims away. You realize you should grip things tighter. You gain one for Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really should grip things tighter. It's true. <laughs> All right, where do you want to go? <laughs> you are weird. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I want to go to the forest. The forest, Ari. What you want to do? I'd like to, um, I'd like to chop wood. Mm. Chop some wood for the, f for the. <laughs> you, sp you spend the week cutting down the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you just gave up on that one. Just, just let it just go, just right out the window. Don't know this. <laughs> yeah. Um, spend the week cutting down the trees for the village. Gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day you come across a group of people in the woods. Shit. From the expressions on their faces, they appear to be lost. Oh. Shit. No, I don't want to help them. <laughs> wow. I want to rob them. You're going to rob them. All I'm right. I told you I have no honor. I Apparently Jump so. up from behind a tree, brandishing your weapon, demanding to hand over their goods, a.k.a. their boobies. Mm. One of them refuses and charges you with a pitchfork. I like um, imagining that this group of travelers is just traveling with a pack of footed boobies. <laughs> it's really nice to imagine. You try to outmaneuver her, but she's too fast for you. God damn it. She sweeps your, her pitchfork under your legs and knocks you to the ground. The rest of the group of people swarm you and tie you up. God damn it, they're gonna do weird sex stuff with me. They probably are, yeah. They look through your stuff and find nothing of war. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I keep my stuff under my bed, idiots. <laughs> Before leaving you, the girl takes a kick to your gut. My baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and you lost two physique. Also, the sound of her kicking you was a slice into your flesh as she was wearing like some bladed boots. Ooh. It's not good, man. It's like the Joker in The Dark Knight when he yeah. kicked his with a knife. After hours of struggling, you managed to free yourself. Well, fuck me. I'm back where I started. Yep. They say the last time it came, the Yag devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore family and family members apart. I can't read like this, mm. but that was so very long ago. <laughs> they, they only tore one family and family <laughs> members apart. Tore family and family the damn members. Johnson said it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to brew a potion. 
I spent the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two <laughs> magic and one mind. Hmm? You look evil. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens when you brew potions. You get super evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brewing potions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what person people brewing potions sounds like? <laughs> that's what your woman sounds like. Wow! Now she's my woman. All right. One day, yeah. you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret. 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 <laughs> one of those <laughs> previously <laughs> dead ferrets. Came to live. I figured out what the adult to death, the alchemist explains. The undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. Uh, okay, so I have... Ah, I'm gonna praise him. That's amazing, you say, slightly discomforted by the ferret's presence. <laughs> you didn't hurt the alchemist's feelings. You gain one charm. That's always good. God damn it, now you're gonna let the zo You always manage to fuck things up, Rob. Uh, excuse me, who robbed people in a forest for no reason? Let's look at your track record really, really quick. Okay, so mm. you freaking threw the potion into the water supply, thereby yeah. poisoning the slums, thereby causing an infection that caused me to lose my goddamn mind. Oh, you blame you me Willingly for that. followed a woman into the shadows, knowing she's a vampire and she was going to bite you. You just, you fuck everything up. Uh, excuse me, who murdered everyone as a werewolf last time? I think that was you. Yeah, one to three. Good one. <laughs> hey, you also exploded people's heads with your magic powers. That was your fault. <laughs> All right, where do you want to go? I want to go to the freaking ball. You need to go to the ball. All right. Uh, Palace Atendama. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day... I read that totally wrong. Hmm. What were you going to read it as? One day you accidentally bump into a dick. <laughs> <laughs> One day there's a massive swinging dong and you just bump right into it. <laughs> it's a pretty common Watch problem. Yeah. Watch where you're going, filthy peasant. Fuck him. He shoves you out of the way with his hand and continues walking. Passive aggressive. You're gonna be passive aggressive. Yeah. I'm learning so much. <laughs> that outfit looks really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really the best I can do? That's pretty passive aggressive. I would have handed him twenty dollars. I said, buy yourself better insults, dickwad. Whoa, damn. Oh, damn. That's like hashtag wrecked situation oh, yeah. right there. Spread your cheeks, asshole. Hmm. He looks mildly insulted. I don't know about that one. Sick burn. <laughs> he gained Kill a charm. <laughs> it was honest in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook. The air was still. Uh, okay, so I got eight mind, six charm, six finesse... You know, I'm going to go to the hospital, and I'm going to tend to patients. You spend oh, the week... I was going to go there. Well, too bad. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. <laughs> you gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day, you hear spooky sounds echoing through the hospital. This soon... bitch again. I know. Soon afterwards, a glowing blue ghost floats down from the ceiling. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howl howling out horrible noises. She doesn't appear to realize that she's freaking everyone out. You decide to do something about it. So you talk to commonly to the ghost. And... You don't have enough. You don't have enough charm to talk to her. I guess I have better magic. All right. Vaporize the ghost with magic. With a wave of your hand, you fire off a magic bolt. The ghost lets out a wail as the bolt pierces her heart. She slowly fizzles out of existence. Oh god, I feel kind of oh, bad. That was a dick move. Target, Target practice. practice. <laughs> I gained a magic. Well, that's kind of fucked up. Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? I blame. I'm gonna go to the slums. I'm gonna fight crime. Fight some crime. I don't have a mask. No, but the red lady still looks like a badass. Like, look at that hood. Yeah. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, you hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in, you see a crowd of men cheering on dogs, violently ripping each other apart. What the fuck? One of the men spots you and asks, Oi, would you like to participate in our little betting game? 
no. Try and stop the dog fights. You try to convince the gamblers that the dog fighting is wrong. The words fall on deaf ears, dickwads. <laughs> Very quickly, they get quite angry with you. One of them walks up to you and pulls out a knife. You don't feel you got the strength or speed to match this guy. You run away, hoping you won't follow. <laughs> Pathetic. Nerd. Shut up. <laughs> I think you read this one. Oh, uh, and the world was a howling fury. Chaos, screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with the little <laughs> chaos and howling fury. Uh, alright, so I have magic. Um... Hmm. I think I'm gonna go to the gardens and I'm gonna meditate. Spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. <sighs> one day on your way home from the park, you come across a golden ring in the grass. Uh. Where did the. I'm gonna wear the ring. Upon placing the ring on your finger, orange glowing markings appear on the outside of the band. The markings unravel themselves from the ring and swirl in front of you. They form into what appears to be a fully armored ghost, radiating a, be radiating a beautiful orange light. The ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. Dot, dot, dot. The ring looks good on you. You gain one charm. I'm gonna go to the... Uh, hospital. The hospital. What are you gonna do? Tend to patients. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day, while in the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give birth. The baby she births is no ordinary baby, however. Its skin is pitch black and shiny, its eyes glow like an orange flame. It wrestles itself away from the doctor's hand and tries to fly away. Stop that demon, yells the doctor. I got nothing. Yeah. I guess I'll use my strength, even though I don't have any. Strength them up. Put yourself between the demon and the exit. The baby demon barrels past you and out the door, flying off into the night sky. Hmm. Uh, I suck. So, I think, uh, you might have killed us all with your demon baby. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or <laughs> have we forgotten? Why do you always do that when you read that line? <laughs> have we always already forgotten? Oh, uh, yeah, did we forget? I don't know. I don't really remember. I was drinking a lot. Uh, mind magic charm. You know what? Let's go to the alchemy tower. And let's brew a potion. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. Here, gain, here, here. You gain two. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's the uh, potion brewing sound. Uh, here, one, here, here. one day while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If you don't do something soon, it'll explode. All right. All right, I'm going to drink it this time so I don't poison the water supply. You quickly drink the potion. Your stomach can't seem to handle the potion. Fire erupts from your esophagus and a solid for a solid minute and you're shooting a jet of fire from between your lips. That burns! You lose two physique. Well, it's a learning experience, though. You gain one mind. Well, that's good. I want to... Go to the tavern. The tavern. I'm gonna bartend. Bartend. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth and tips and gain two charm. One day, a fortune teller sets up at one of the tavern's tables. She offers to read anybody's fortune for a small sum. Um, um nah, sure. You spend one well. The fortune teller takes your hand and begins showering you with promises of love and wealth. She doesn't really go into any detail, and the whole time can't help but feel that this is all an act. Underwhelmed and slightly poor, you can't help but feel like you've wasted your money. That night while walking home, the fortune teller runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. There's the love part, she says with a toothless smile. Mm. Then she hands you a giant sack of balls. <laughs> oh man, that's not good. There's the wealth, she says. Balls are real wealthy. You gain two wealth. Oh, hot damn. Still think I'm a hack? Yeah, I do. Ellipsis. Ellipsis. The Yag. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. They say almost a lot then. Almost. 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 The forest! I'm gonna chop some wood. You spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. 
One day- Ah, oh, shit. Shit. You hear a howl nearby, followed by the rustling of leaves. Uh... Run for it, run for it. I'm gonna run for it. You drop what you were doing and run for your life. You hear heavy footsteps running behind you, and they seem to be getting closer. Oh my so god, you're gonna fuck us all. Something oh heavy god, jumps on top of you and slashes open your back. You black out. When you come to, your whole body feels warm, and the gash in your back has disappeared. I lose three magic. You gain three physique. You fucked us all. I... I still blame you. What? <laughs> Where do you want to go? The gardens. Alright. I want to meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. One day you come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. You there, young person. He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Uh, sure, why not? Block it. Ages seem to pass as you stand in the hot sun, the wizened old man sleeping peacefully in your shadow. You think it's wizened? What do you say? I would probably lean more towards wizened. It's wizened, isn't you think, it? You think it's wizened? I do, Robert. It could be. I've been reading longer than you have. Wow! <laughs> the sun is sweltering, and after some hours, you begin to feel faint. Oh, gradually everything goes dark. Damn mm. it. When you awaken, it's evening in the garden and the ancient gnarled tree stands where the old man was sleeping. For witnessing this miraculous event, you gain one magic. I didn't hmm. witness anything. You witness that old man dying and turn into a tree. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. It drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we? Past saving. Uh, might. yeah, we we might be past saving. I'm gonna be a werewolf, so um, yeah, kind of. I have 14 mind. I don't have a lot of finesse. Um, fuck it. I'll be the conjurer. You take it upon yourself to help conjure up supplies for the town. Damn you go to it. cast a spell when suddenly you let out a howl. Oh boy. Damn it, Robert. Your body contorts out of control and fur erupts out of everywhere. You turn jagged and sharp. You gain three physique. Your grasp of the supernatural is lost, however. You lose three magic. All you can think about is how hungry you are. The next few hours are a blur. You wake up in the middle of the night surrounded by trees. You don't quite know what happened, but you're pretty sure it didn't help the survival effort. I'll be... the leader. The leader. You take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You effectively delegate and prioritize tasks. You give a lot of pats on the back, rewarding everyone's hard work. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. Unlike you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, do I read this? I think so, yes. And so, we set about our tasks, once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted. Yeah, fuck werewolves. But in <laughs> the end... Ow. Aw, oh, damn it! <laughs> we were defeated. Those of us left struggled to put our homes to rights, but the effort was futile, doomed. The city bled survivors, eventually becoming a husk, a dead thing. And perhaps the Yogg was only partly to blame. See, I did a really good job in my role. I did a <laughs> top-notch job and you fucking fucked it up i you know what the werewolf chose me mal not the other you way you need around. to take responsibility for your action have human have feast you live in the forest easily picking off those who escape into the forest with the town in ruins people are fleeing en masse into the forest to find the nearest village there's a lot of forest you eat very very well no i noticed that last round yeah with crime rampant in the ruins of your former village you decide to take action over the next few years, you build an underground fortress filled with magical gadgets to aid you in your quest. Am I a superhero? Criminals learn to fear your name as you end them, one by one. I'm Batman, guys. I'm fucking Batman. Yeah, but you're like I'm magic ba Batman. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you couldn't kill me with your magic powers. Because you goddamn are a creature from the depths of hell. Yeah. I, is a werewolf a creature from the depths of hell? I know vampires are. Well, you suck either way. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fair point. I really do suck. 
Well, I guess we can say this time I wasn't the one who fucked everything up. <laughs> That's true, yeah. that I, I will take responsibility for that loss. It's <laughs> probably on me. And that's Hashtag, fair. damn it, Rob. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Well, but maybe I won't be a werewolf next time, or a vampire. Are we ever going to get a good ending? I don't know, we did it one time. But you weren't freaking recording. I know! What did we do that made it, like, good? We had sex. Just kidding. No, really? Didn't. No, we huh. didn't. That's weird. You, you, um, all, you all heard it here first. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna have to try again. This we really are. Really, it's actually getting really frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little game. We'll, we'll do it eventually. I'm, I, I'm sure of it. I'm sure, I believe in us, Ma. Anyway, thanks for watching the Yog, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, let me know how you feel about it down in the comments, and don't put any hashtags that involve me and how bad I am. Uh, <laughs> I would like that. Ma, uh, you wanna tell people who you are? Yeah. Hi, I'm Malls, or Malls is so bored. I have a YouTube channel. Uh, I do gaming, uh, especially lately. I've been releasing one video a day because we started a new gaming series called The Wolf Among Us. It's super epic and cool, and I'm really enjoying it. So if you want to watch that, you should come over and subscribe. Woo hoo! Yeah, and the link is down below in the description if you want to go see. Um, and then you could also see her reaction to um, to season one, episode one of something. Episode one, part whatever of the uh, Wolf Among Us. Oh yeah, I mean you you had like a reaction video of. Uh... Oh shut up, Rob. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.